Alright, I'm suited. I've got my welding jacket on and stuff. Um, when you're welding, you always want to wear some kind of um, fire resistant clothing or welding jacket or leather jacket, like a leather welding jacket or something. This is just a um, chemical treated type jacket. It's fire resistant and spotter resistant and stuff. Um, then you always, always want to wear welding gloves because the UV rays off the weld when you're welding can severely burn your hands. Um, probably just doing a couple little tacks is okay, but when you're welding for longer periods of time. Um, the other thing you want to wear is a welding helmet. I just got this one um, when I got the water welder. It's about $20 helmet. It's flipped down. In the future I might get an auto darkening one, but um, yeah. The, got the lens there. It's kind of like a heavy duty pair of sunglasses, basically. And then I have I have the main glass lens, and then I also have a, a plastic uh, lens just to keep the spotter from wrecking the glass, and I, then I can just replace those after the splatter builds up too much to see. But um, got the welder all set up to what I want and everything, so um, yeah. About there. Just put my helmet on. Um, leather gloves. Leather welding gloves, not just a pair of leather gloves from a clothing store. Those will not last, those will burn up. Tell you, tell it, I can tell you that right now. Um, probably a good idea to clamp, clamp your workpiece down just so it doesn't slide around. So I just got a pair of vice grip, larger size vice grips here. Um, clap that down. And then, yeah, put that there. Put my grounding cap onto the piece. Um, and I'll start welding here. Like I said, there's concert, concert there's different people saying different things about welding, like watching welding through a camera. Personally, I'm I don't I think it's fine just to watch, but on the screen, if you don't want to watch the light, you can look away. It doesn't matter. You don't really care. But here we go. Just going to do a couple little tacks, and we'll be that'll be about it. There's one tack on the one side. Like I said, it does get a little smoky. Do one more tuck. And that's the wood burning right there. But, there we go. Uh, there's the two tacks. Now when you're doing flex score, there will be slag on there. You have to kind of chip off. And just take a wire brush or something and can't do it with one hand here. Just to get some of the slag and stuff off. Um, if you're doing multi passes, like one weld over top of another, you always want to take that slag off, or, or the next weld won't bond properly. So yeah, there's. I was going to do tacks on the other side, but um, just to speed up the video, I, I won't. I'll do one continuous bead across. I, I'm going to use C pattern, um, kind of like back and forth like that. That's the pattern I like most. So here we go. Try, I will try and not stand in the camera view.
see the wood starting to flame there. That's one thing about welding on top of any type of wood. Snuff that up. There. Um, yeah. Show you there. That's just a fresh weld right there. You can see the heat penetrating. And then you can kind of see you can see the weld there. It's basically what, what you want to see. You can kind of see the outline of the weld there and stuff like that. Um, the reason it doesn't go right across is because it's tacked there, right? So I'll beat some of the side off and show you what the weld looks like. You can also use um, like a die grinder or a like this with a wire brush on the end um, or a wire wheel and it takes cuts the, cuts the time in half so um, instead of being it taking a slag hammer and beating it off and then taking a wire brush uh, Not sure why the side's not coming off that easy. I don't know why the side can't didn't come off that easy, but anyway. So there. Just let it cool down. It's gonna be hot for a while. That's not one of my better welds, that's I'm used to welding on thicker metal, so I probably probably let it linger for a bit too long. But anyway, that's basically it. Normally, you go up the back there too, just to make a good strong weld. And welding basically just makes two pieces of metal one. So, all right. Um, yeah, just another thing when you're using wire feed, you do not want to have the cord kinked at all or the wire will not feed and if you do kink kink the cord or fold it in half or any way the wire will get bent inside and um, it will clog the gun so I think that's about it um, if you have any questions or concerns or anything or questions about your welder um, feel free to ask um, I'm got plenty a lot plenty of knowledge on welders and different brands and stuff um, if I don't know you I'm not don't know the question to your aunt or the answer to your question my cousin's a professional welder and owns a welding shop I can ask him or send him the question and he'd be happy to ask or answer um, like I said I'm I can do it too doesn't matter um, yeah that's basically it all right happy welding um, happy and safe welding like I said before stay safe wear all the proper equipment always read your owner's manual um, uh, for instructions and different things specific to that model and brand so alright um, talk to you guys later like I said have any questions post them on the comments or personal message me doesn't matter. Any questions at all, just ask. Thanks for watching. Bye.